Yo, what's going on? It's your boy King J. Exclusive interview. You know how it is already. We got the boy. You have to be the best in the UK, right? Like yeah. everyone knows you for that. <laughs> like you're the Yoshi, right? Yeah, best Yoshi in the UK and considered one of the best, best players in the UK. EU. And Trench. <laughs> there we go, man. So yeah, I just wanted to have a talk to you and just say, where have you been? It's been so long. Uh, you're telling me, man, like ever since like the pandemic hit and like things have been going like mainly online it's been kind of hard for me to play the game more or less with like all the people because all the online events have been happening yeah and uh, obviously the reason why I haven't been around is because obviously I play on PlayStation 4 and mm-hmm. PC is like kind of the main tournament platform online these days yeah so it's been kind of hard for me to like get stuff going I've just been practicing in the background offline practice that's all I've really been doing really okay. playing the game so you still playing Tekken and you're still playing Yoshimitsu. Yeah, I'm still playing Tekken 7 here and there. I still have Yoshimitsu as my main boy. Uh, play him on ranked where I can, if mm. I can get any games. Like, I'm on, like, the te- true Tekken God Prime with him. Um, oh. And obviously it's hard to get games on PS4 as it is the top ranks. So I've literally, besides been playing Yoshi, been dabbling in other characters uh, just for the sake of getting ranked games. Because mm. obviously there's better people playing at, like, the lower ranks. So just, just to get games in, because I just get so bored mm. when there's, like, nothing going on. No, I definitely hear that, man. So, obviously, you say that you play online. I hear that you're a true Tekken mm. God. Where's the Tekken God Omega, man? Uh, going on? It just goes back to what I was saying. Like the, the lack of like people to run into on mm. PlayStation Four makes it hard to get like committed like death matches for Tekken God Omega. And mm. obviously, that's a rank I want to reach because everybody's like think, like getting to the top ranks with their characters. And I'm, I know there's some people out there wondering where, where's Kane and Trench of his with his uh, Yoshi Tekken God Omega, I imagine he would have got it by now. Mm. But like, it, it's just not that simple sometimes, you know? No, that definitely makes sense. So, have you ever thought about, like, thought about getting PC? Because this is a common question. When we just yeah. streamed just now, um, everyone's like, oh, are you getting PC or are you not? So, like, this is actually something I've been bringing up for years, mm. actually, uh, even before the pandemic hit. Uh, I've been saying, like, oh, maybe I should go on PC to you know play where all the all the best players move there mm. and that's where online events are happening mm. um and my financial situation's like not really been changed like even mm. since then because obviously to get a good enough pc to run tekken 7 is costly enough as it is mm. and the other issue is the whole wi-fi and wired fiasco because mm. with me i'm a wi-fi player mm. and that gets looked down upon a lot in this game because mm. recently i've like seen a lot of people like even on the social medias even before season four came about as like oh we need a wi-fi indicator because this wi-fi is getting too much (laughs) and ever since that got implemented in season four it's kind of prevented me from being able to match with that many players online Mm. and i mean i can understand why people wanted it because fighting games online they're more demanding than most genres of games online like in terms of connection um but i think like ever since that got introduced it's kind of just just hampered my ability to play online and i and that's it's alienated me from tournaments as well because even if I got PC, mm. there's still the issue of Wi-Fi. And I feel mm. like if I was to go into a tournament with Wi-Fi, there would be disputes saying that, oh, there was lag presence so the game wasn't fair. Because it actually happened to me once mm. when I was at uni, back when I was still doing uni. Uh, mm. I played ESL tournament, uh, the grand final between me and Mitra Storm, a very good uh, player from Italy. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, he was not happy with the connection at the time. That was before mm. I was using an Ethernet cable there. Okay. And uh, he had to dispute with the, the guys uh, whether it was fair or not. And eventually, I had to give up the win to him because it wasn't in my favor, like, connection-wise. Wow. And I feel like if I was to go into tournaments with Wi-Fi again, even on PC, I feel like those same disputes would happen and it would just cause problems. So I was like, you know what? If my situation didn't improve, I'll just wait it out till offline comes back. That's all I can really do. I mean, it's, it's been a year and a half, mm. though, man. Like, yeah, it's been very long. It's been very long, and I've been missing the game. I've been missing everyone. Like, I really want to get back into events, but I mean, if people like want to have a smooth experience, I can't blame them. I mean, funny enough, this Wi-Fi talk never happened back during like Tag Two days. Everybody was happy with the netcode <laughs> in that game, and funny enough, I don't see this kind of talk with any other fighting game. It's just Tekken Seven. It's like, oh, we need Wi-Fi indicators. I want to skip all them guys. Like, <laughs> I don't know how that came about, but it is what it is. What can you do about it? Not much. Nah, that's all right, man. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, you're always welcome to come here yeah, and play yeah. ranked, and you know, keep warm if you want to, just to kind of make sure that you know you're keeping on point with your punches yeah, and stuff exactly, like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, what would you say? Which players are the players that have kind of risen up in Tekken Seven? So, like, 
it could be UK, it could be EU. There might be players that you, you I know you, mm. you you watch tournaments and stuff like I that. I mean, but. I've been watching where I can. I've been quite busy, like since the pandemic hit, with like with work and other stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I haven't really had the opportunity to watch a lot of tournaments. But from what I gather in the UK, there's like there's a lot of up and comers. Mm. Uh, obviously, Chicken Maru, despite him saying he's retired, he's still like placing high wherever the hell he goes. Yeah, that's <laughs> so true. so re- re- retired. Yeah. And um, obviously, you've got. A lot of the elf guards like Sherdo, he's been making waves. I've, I hear all about these ICFC tournaments. I haven't really watched a lot of those, but I've yeah. been seeing where the UK guys, UK guys have been play, placing. Yep, yep. Um, so they've been doing really well. And even recent tournaments like No Bars, yeah. I heard there's some online warriors that came down, and they, even one online warrior actually managed to take it all. Ducky for uh, six. Ducky. Yeah, that, so, that's, that was crazy. So that's one player to look forward to in future events. And in terms of EU, all I just see is just Super Akuma, Super Akuma, Super Akuma. Like, everywhere. Yeah. He, he just, he's just been destroying everyone with his Akuma. And that's to be expected when you've done an opposition like Tishimon in your way these days. Yeah. He, he's disconnected from EU now. So it's like, who is there left to challenge Super Akuma these days? I still feel like there's people like, you know, Sefi Black and I, but they, yeah, they kind yeah. of fall a bit short because of... You know, Akuma being quite strong and, you know, mm. the down to punish. and I think it's that 12 frame punish. Like, it's yeah, crazy. it's a nuts punish. <laughs> so I feel like they need to fix that. But <laughs> then, like, yeah, so we, we touched on the topic of, like, mm. you know, pandemic is opening up and stuff. Can people see you coming offline again? Because, you know, I feel like there's a lot of people, like, we streamed for literally 30 minutes. Yeah. And there was loads of people coming in like, oh, yeah, like, we missed you. I'm getting yeah, tweets I saying mean, that we missed you. I'm just like, yo, like... Everyone, I, I get that everyone misses me. Like, obviously, I haven't had a much chance to, like, say much stuff on Twitter. Yeah. But, um, like, no, when No Bars came around, I saw that No Bars was happening, but it capped so quickly, I didn't really get a chance to be a part of that because I saw, like, how hyped the event was because it was, like, the first real big UK offline event since ages. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I will be coming to the Elf tournament that's happening on the 25th. They will be capping okay. that at 64 entrance. So if you, so if, well, so if you haven't if you haven't signed up to that yet, make sure you do if you have that day free. And uh, obviously any other locals that will be happening in the future, I'll try and make sure I'm available for those too. Because I, I need to get back into this, man. I've missed it for too long. Yeah, no, nah, likewise, likewise, likewise. And what do you think about season four? Because obviously I know you said that you've kind of been staying... Uh, you've, you've been busy and mm. you know you, with life and yeah, everything else yeah. what do you think about like obviously the characters that come you know Lydia Kunimitsu season 4 as a whole like you know the, all the changes and stuff like that I know you probably don't know all of the changes but mm. uh, it does for me personally it feels like the game's gone crazy yeah like, I would definitely say it's gone crazy so like first of all I kind of started falling off online even during like that during season three. Yeah. Around when Leroy and Fuck and Rum released uh, is when I was kind of not playing as much um, offline or on- and online. Okay. Um, so those characters were a bit up in the air for me even when I was playing the occasional ranked session. Okay. And then when season four rolled around and I saw Kunimitsu and Lydia and obviously all the buffs and nerfs that the cast has received, I feel like the game's in a state now where a lot of characters have just gone nuts with how strong they are and mm. some of them have had their weaknesses removed completely. And I feel like oh. that that yeah, like that conflicts like with what they did before in previous seasons with the way they did buffs and nerfs then. Mm. And it feels like now they've given some characters special attention while other characters have kind of been ignored. I mean, I'd say one positive out of season four, uh, for example, is Lily. Because ever since season one, I've been seeing players clamour for like Lily changes across the board, and they never really got something that they thought was worthwhile. And now Lily's in a state where it's like, oh, she's kind of good now. And yeah. then, and then you just see ones like Bob, like like you said, he just he gets a hop kick now, like a legit hop kick, fifteen frames, that's safe. It makes <laughs> and awesome. his his CD one launching on normal hit, which technically tracks both ways. You can't step it. Yeah, it's like. Where did that come from, mate? <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently, it's faster than Electric Queen Godfist on Whiff, mm. and that is crazy. It recovers so. way too quick. So I don't I know. I know Ru Kang is happy about that. I've been seeing you enjoying them changes, mate. <laughs> don't worry, we'll play again soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wicked man! So, like, to to wrap this up, is yeah. there like so you you ain't gonna be streaming or anything like that because of obviously the, in, yeah. the internet and stuff. Like I said, you're welcome to come here mm. and stream, like, you know, or play with Yoshi and Ranked and stuff like that. You can play all the players as well. Yeah. Um, what are your socials for people that want to know, like, you know, like, are you on Twitter? Like, do you talk about Tekken on Twitter as much? Or, like, the people, the people that want to know, how can they find you? Uh, so you can find me on Twitter, uh, simply with at Kn Trench. Um, I haven't tweeted as much on there recently, but uh, as offline comes back more and more, I'll be trying to 
get more like posts out there, retweet about events and stuff that District G will get up to in the future. Mm. And you can also find me on Instagram as well at a DG underscore K and Trench as well, mm -hmm. uh, DG for District G. Yeah. So make sure you catch me on there. And if you have any like questions you want to ask me, anything you want to know, just ask, man, and I'll try and answer the best of my best of my ability. Uh, wicked man. All right, well, thank you very much for the interview. No worries, We're now man. gonna get into the stream and play some games. Yeah, boy. Hope you lot enjoy this. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment. Push it into the algorithm. We want to see Kane and Trench get back in there. Yeah. Till the next video. Take it easy, everyone. Peace.